In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be doing a detailed step-by-step -step installation of this carbon fiber hood strut from Amazon on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. All the products in this installation are from Amazon and is aimed to fully open your hood automatically once you pop it and latch your hood. Since the Tacoma's hood is on the heavier side, this is an added convenience especially when you get a bigger tire and a lift setup. I'll link these in the description box below. The package is from the store called Tubasa and comes with this instruction manual. All the hardware you'll need for this installation. These two mounting brackets that will attach to your hood. And the hood struts itself. I got mine in the carbon fiber version. It's available in other colors as well. It seems very sturdy at first glance. Before starting this installation, let's quickly go over some important info for this project. It should be noted that these hood struts and brackets are side specific. So you'll need to ensure to use the proper one on the drivers and passenger side. This instruction manual is not very clear on the installation, but I had to contact the manufacturer for clarification. We first need to attach these brackets to the hood using the OEM 12mm bolt currently attached to your hood. Note that the L portion of this bracket needs to be inside for a proper installation. Then you'll need to install the black screws and tighten the nut with a 12mm wrench. After that, we'll use the silver bolts for the bottom of the hood struts. There will be existing mounting locations on your Tacoma's engine bay that we'll access. Note that you will only need one set with the smaller diameter, so put the other bolts away. As for the hood struts, one will be shorter than the other. We'll install the longer one on the passenger side and the shorter one on the driver's side. This will simply attach to the silver and black bolts that we'll be installing. The first step of this installation is to install the passenger side hood strut. Head to your Tacoma and pop the hood. Then grab a 12mm socket and a wrench, 10mm socket replacement, mounting brackets, hardwares, and the hood strut. We'll first need to remove this 12mm bolt attached to your hood. This is where we'll be mounting the Tsubasa bracket. Put this bolt aside and grab the passenger side bracket. Again, ensuring that the L portion of it is on the inside. Simply line up the bolting locations of the hood to your brackets, then grab the 12mm bolt we removed previously and tread it back in. After this, use your 12mm socket to tighten it. Then grab the black bolt with the locking nut and install this on the L portion of the bracket, making sure that it's facing out. This is where we'll connect the top of the hood strut. You're gonna need both 12mm socket and wrench in the front and back to tighten it. After tightening this, we're gonna need to install the bottom mounting bolt location. To do this, we need to temporarily remove this plastic panel. Pull this locking rubber piece and put it aside. Simply pull the plastic panel out to access the bolt location. You'll notice that there's an existing mounting bolt location here. You're gonna need to grab the silver bolt and thread this in. And grab the 12mm wrench again to tighten this bolt. After this, simply put the plastic back and lock it into place after tightening the When that's complete, you're going to need to grab the longer hood strut and we'll need to install this to the two bolts we just mounted. Simply attach the female end to the mounting bolt ensuring that you hear it like a secured fit. To attach the bottom portion, you're going to need to lift the hood slightly. To remove the OEM hood support, lift the hood slightly, attach the bottom hood strut to the silver bolt we installed previously. Again, make sure that this clicks in properly for a secured fit.
After installing the passenger side hood strut, let's now install the driver side. Most of the steps will be fairly similar to the passenger side. First, we need to remove the 12mm bolt, align the bracket ensuring that the L portion is on the inside, reattach and tighten the bolt. After this, we need to add the top mounting bolt and use the 12mm socket and wrench combo to tighten it. When that's complete, we need to change the 12mm socket to a 10mm socket to remove the existing ground bolt on the engine bay. This is where we'll attach the bottom of the hood strut for the driver's side. When this is removed, simply use the silver bolt in its place and tighten it. You'll need to change the 10mm socket back to the 12mm socket to tighten the bolt. When that's complete, simply install the shorter driver's side hood strut similar to the passenger side. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Last step in this installation is to test out the new Tsubasa hood strut. Use this, simply pop your hood, unlatch it, give the hood a slight push up and this should automatically lift up without needing to manually lift the heavy weight of the hood. This is a nice added convenience to have the hood struts do the work for you. Close this, simply pull the hood down, and lock it into place and enjoy your brand new Tsubasa hood strut. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this Tsubasa hood strut installation from Amazon. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.